What's up everybody, Spare with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers, working on the villa again. Um, so when we left off in the last episode, we kind of made this weird loft kind of balcony thingamabobber. And yes, that is the official term, the loft thingy kind of sort of thingamabobber. Um, so this kind of came from not wanting to like not wanting to make it the typical just you know straight walls all the way up and there's just different floor plans on each side i kind of wanted to make these little loft type balcony areas and then this just gave me a really cool idea that it was like ooh, if we have a balcony here which is all well and good what if we just make like a step down and then this is like a big old patio kind of thing. I think that would be kind of cool. So that's where we're at. Um, there will be a hot tub at some point. Medieval hot tub. It's gonna happen. Don't doubt the hot tub. Um, so first off, we're gonna just put some railing around here. Just, well, because, I mean, you're gonna end up with a railing. It's just how things work. Why would you do that? Just, why? I didn't want to delete the floor. I wanted to delete the railing. Oh well. Whatever. Alright. Um, I'm kind of being a derp. I could just drag this. Alright, so this is our secondary type patio thing. So, what I'm thinking is... I'm honestly planning this like a modern style. Like, even though we're building in Medieval Engineers, I'm kind of looking at this like a modern take. So, I'm kind of thinking, like, you know, you'd have your grill and your patio furniture and all this kind of stuff. But then I'm thinking a hot tub will go over here. Now, for this part up here, we kind of want, I think, to make a more typical house structure in terms of... Um, like, you know, making it walled off and things like that. Um, oh my gosh, why does it keep breaking the ground below you instead of the block that I'm highlighted on? That's kind of annoying, actually. Alright, so let's put another window there. Uh, we are going to have to monitor the structural integrity, but I don't know that these are adding enough stress to make it really bad like they could but I don't know I haven't seen anything too dire it's all just like a lightish yellow um, I'm hoping that that means it'll hold up okay now we could actually do a couple of different things here um, we could theoretically no 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 we'll keep it this way it's fine um what i don't know about is here is i don't know if we want to make this like another part of the roof kind of thing like expand this room um or not okay or take all the floor that works too um floor for me Really? Why would you do that? There. Good grief. Um, so from here, we could um, make like the floor here and extend this, which isn't a bad idea. The only problem is it's going to weaken the integrity of the frame because now you're dealing with... Um, you're basically dealing with more weight in the center that's not supported. So that's the only thing, really. Design-wise, it's not a bad idea. Um, now here, because you're upstairs, I'm kind of thinking of a few more windows. Because windows are cool. I like windows. Um, a lot of times in buildings, in real buildings, 
they don't do a ton of windows unless they're big skyscraper type things, usually for integrity purposes, because having a big pane of glass instead of concrete and rebar and all that is, you know, going to weaken the strength of the building. So they tend to try and keep it limited, at least that's my understanding. So you usually see, that's one of the signs of futuristic uh, buildings and stuff, is when you see everything have uh, like a glass tint kind of thing to everything. Or not tint, but just glass in general. That's not what I meant. I need a door there. Um, but, you know, how everything's all open and airy and glass and, you know, that's kind of the thing for being... It's kind of a hallmark for being in the future. So I think that's part of why is in the future they're supposed to have figured out more uh, structurally stable glass type stuff. And we'll run the roof along the top here around the perimeter. And that'll be all well and good. Um, the only thing with this that I'm not a fan of is it's Maybe it'll be something like after we get it sealed up and everything, it'll be fine. But it's it's just kind of really flat and open right now. There's no dividing walls or anything like that. So um, that's one thing. But what we can do is work on our, um, our hot tub. So... We have to figure out where exactly we want this thing. Let's... Is... Okay, so at the max length, a full... Um, what is this called? Timber. A full timber log is the size of a block when you have it maxed out, so that's good to know. Um, so we could do one, two... Okay, so let's do that. We'll do two by two. So we'll put it in the block here. And we may change... We may change out, like, where it is a little bit, just in terms of depth, uh, so that we can actually make it all the way down to the bottom. Now this one's going to be tricky. We're going to put this here, which isn't too terrible. But then this one we need to bring back out to a full block so that it will connect. Um, actually, you know what? Let's... Let's... Oops. Okay, that was interesting. Um, what I'm actually going to do is go from this way. And by doing that, we're going to keep the um we're going to keep the nub pieces, whatever that's called, um from showing from everybody else cuz typically we'll be looking this way at it, not this way. So that should help a little bit with with that issue. Okay, and let's do another one like this. And in case it wasn't obvious, because I was doing that too quick, these are one step down from the max. And then there's uh, one more that's fully maxed at the end. Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't do that. Hold on. Oh, dagnabbit. I don't know why that's turning it into a dynamic object, it looks like. Alright, so we need to actually set this frame up first. And the reason for that is because otherwise we're getting a... we're getting the nubs showing the other direction uh, because we're building into the frame box like this. Now there's two, so we need them to be one step down on both sides now. There. That's better. And that way, from this view, you don't see any of these little... Um, I don't know what they're actually called in lumber working, but it's where the inner wood is showing instead of the uh, 
instead of the nice finished side. So that's our hot tub dimension. Uh, which I think will be really cool. Now actually, I've got a few different ideas for how to work with this. Um, one of them being to... Let's see. Let's place a block there so that we can build on it. Um, unfortunately, that may not work, actually. Oh, crap. Well, is it a dynamic object now? I can't tell. Yep. Dang it. So we can't delete anything that's connected to it. That's annoying. That's kind of really aggravating. Alright, so new plan. This is like the ninth time I'm going to have built this stupid frame. Um, but we're going to do this, this time. There we go. Now, how this will look on the inside, I don't know. We'll have to check that. But, and before we do anything else, let's try this out. If I put this here and then delete it, okay, it doesn't go anywhere. Good. Finally. I've got a stable framework to work on. And I did bump them down one size so that these will fit, just to make sure. Alright, they don't go anywhere. Gosh, finally. So that's the trick, is set them in the frame. Alright, and let's double check one more time. Alright, doesn't go anywhere. Awesome! Now we're cranking. Um, Alright, and that should be a perfect frame. So now... Can I build off of... Oh, we can kind of actually do off of like that. Oh, 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 oh. I got an idea. Let's make corners now. History in the making. First medieval hot tub. Um, I don't know if it's actually the first medieval hot tub or not. <laughs> Somebody's probably done something like that. Why can't I get the same reaction? There we go. Now these... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's try this. I don't think this is attached to the log. Nope. Alright, so what we might want to do instead... Well... I was thinking of doing like this. Oh, 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 oh! I got, I got ideas. Let's just do this. That way, it won't be that easy to see from below if there is actually any kind of implication. Come on. It's weird. You have to go further up to get it to attach to the log that's further down. Makes no sense. Alright. Now we're good to go. Okay, so now putting these like this, if we were to delete something attached to them, they stay there. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, so now this is going to work as our next frame. I'm going to basically measure it out kind of the same that we did over here, is just go from our starting point to our ending point and make the log as big as we need it. Come on. That is kind of annoying sometimes how it won't attach right. There we go. Theoretically, this should all be the same dimension-wise. So we shouldn't have to make any changes. Come on. There we go. Alright. Um, so I'm going to work on this a little bit and see if I can make some more progress on it. And when we're done, we'll come back and see what we've got. Alrighty, so here it is, my medieval hot tub. Um, so yeah, this came out actually pretty good. Um, I have stones in here, mostly for a heating effect, since I don't have any water to work with. 
Um, yeah, if there was if there was water in the game, I would add it in here. But there isn't at the moment, so I can't. So I put those in there to show like jets slash heating, because you know that's a thing in medieval times. Um, and so I added the torches for it's like tiki torches, right? Keep the bugs off you. Totally, but it's not because torches is a primary source of light form in this era. No, 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 no. Light source, by the way, is what I meant to say. It's totally tiki torches to get the bugs off you. Um, so I ended up doing an inverted step in here that I didn't actually end up meaning to do, but I found I couldn't get out without flight mode. So I put the inner ring in there so that, like, you know, you could sit down. Um, there isn't really a sit option in the game yet, but, you know, you can sit on the steps, chill in the hot tub, when you're done, get up, just walk off. So I thought that was pretty cool. That came out pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the next step out here, I'd kind of like to do the outer area first, just because it looks so blah. It just looks so barren. Um, I'll probably leave the furnace part for now because uh, we're gonna need to make some kind of grill looking thing um, which will probably be another timber build I'm thinking uh, in terms of seating um, I'm gonna set this as dynamic only because then it will um, it'll actually kind of like drop in a good direction and land on the ground instead of floating above the ground, which really bothers me. I don't like that objects float. Um, but at the same time, I also want it to fit symmetrically and everything, so... Tell you what, can we actually... I don't know if this will work. Can we get rid of this and still place the table? Like, can I place it right there? No, it's dropping. Hey! This is a completely, like, unrelated note. But... I feel like... Why are there no anchor points on the very top? That's weird. It's only on the side. I feel like you could do something with this. Like... <laughs> I don't know. Like... That seems like something you could be able to use... To make it look like something else. Like shelving or... I don't know. Something. So that's not gonna work. We are gonna have to work with this a little differently. So, with that in mind, looks like dynamic is the way to go. I want to put the grilling area over here, so I'm thinking of putting table and chairs like here. Now, can I build off of this? Yes! Perfect. That should keep it from floating, right? If it's connected to the dynamic one that... No! I thought I made this dynamic. Oh, that's cool. So it doesn't actually matter. Well... Blah! Screw you. Okay. New plan since it's going to stay floaty anyway. That's not where I wanted you. Right there. It's whatever. Nobody will notice. It's just us. We're the only ones that will notice. Wait a minute. Dang it. I hate that it turns it into a dynamic object when you delete something that's connected to it. That's kind of annoying. So we're going to have like this big old banquet table looking thing. We don't want to get it too close to the hot tub though. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, game. 
stupid dynamic objects. Um, yeah, that'll work. And then we'll do... Can we do middle? Gosh, these anchor points are so touchy. They really need to fix that. Because it's like I can barely get the chairs and stuff where I want them to go. Come, come on! I barely moved! See, that's what I mean. Like, it's too super touchy. There we go. Goodness. Um, is there room for... Okay, there is. I wasn't sure if they gave it enough room for a table at the head. Or a chair at the head. Yeah. Can you put a table at the head of the table? Does that work? I don't think that works. Come on. Stop being so stupid. There we go. Come on. See what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not even hardly moving. And the crosshair thing just goes everywhere. Oh, good grief. I don't think even Space Engineers is this bad. It can be pretty bad, too, though. It's just how they've got the anchor point system and all that set up. Collision detection and all. Come on. There we go. Alright, so now we bumped the table. I probably could have pulled it in a little bit, but... Well, hey, I wonder, is this all considered one object? <gasps> it is! Well now, ain't that interesting. Why can I not place it anywhere? See what I mean? It's just derpy, sometimes. What is going on here? Okay. And I... Oh, jeez! It's all considered one table now. Uh, well, that's not good. Um... Uh... I broke something. This is not good. Mostly because it doesn't seem to want to detect anything above... Or connect to it. Why can't I place this anywhere? Like, especially if it's a... Oh, I can turn it to a dynamic object? Okay, cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna place that, drop it. We're gonna get rid of this. We're going to copy this again. We're gonna leave it dynamic. And it may not... It might not be, like, uber accurate to the grid. Um... But, we're just going to line this up right about there. Give it a little droppy. Get rid of that. Perfect. So we have our table and our hot tub. Next is the grill. And then the lounging type-ish area up here with some lawn chairs or something. I don't know. Um, and then we'll work on going more inside and setting up what's going on in here. So I think we're going to end the episode here on that note. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!